I don't know if it could get any more iconic than that. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, Sopo here. Today we are filming a sit-down video about my newest handbag edition, which is a Goyard Anjou PM in this gray color. We're gonna be doing everything, close up, what's in my bag, a little bit of history. If you're into handbags, especially into the luxury designer handbags, this is definitely a video for you. But at the same time, if you are into makeup, beauty, lifestyle kind of content, there is plenty for you to see. I personally believe that the vlogs that are on this channel are the most entertaining, always including some type of unboxings, applications of different products, fashion bits. So it's very unfortunate that those kind of content gets the least clicks on my channel because I know that this video is gonna get a lot more visibility than the others. I'm strongly encouraging you to check out the rest of the content, decide for yourself if you want to see more of those as well. Most importantly, don't forget to click the like button comment and ring the bell not to miss any other uploads. Goyard was founded in 1853 in Paris, which makes it the oldest leather maker in business. A lot of people assume that it was Louis Vuitton, but actually Goyard started one year earlier. In comparison to the other luxury designer brands, it's still privately owned and has the fewest number of boutiques in comparison to other designer luxury brands like Hermès, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. The famous Goyardin canvas was created only in 1892 by Edmond Goyard itself and the color scheme was not as diverse back then as it is now that came later on. It was only in 1998 that Goyard opened new retail locations in North America, Europe, Asia and South America. Singles which purchased the um, brand Goyard was the one who introduced the new colors like red, orange, yellow, green, sky blue, navy. Basically the colors that are so loved makes these handbags so different from other designer handbag totes. What made Goyard super unique was that until 2000s it was hand painted. It's unfortunate that it's not anymore, but if there are any personalizations done on the handbags or some travel pieces, they are all still done through the hand painting technique. They do travel bags, they do handbags, they do accessories, and they do also accessories for pets. They do also special order items, and such iconic names as Coco Chanel and Karl Lagerfeld were themselves wearing the pieces of Goyard. Itself, the Goyardine is made of hemp, linen, and cotton, and it's coated with a proprietary waterproofing technique, which makes it very durable, resilient, and very wearable across the entire year. Goyard produces wide array of handbags and even among totes there are three that are very famous. There is the um, Saint Louis, which is the most famous of them all. It's canvas lined, it is super light, molds almost to the body. And then we have Andrew, which is leather lined. And then we have Artois, which has sort of zipper for those people who prefer the handbags to be safe. I purchased mine in August of this year whilst we were in Paris. I've been exclusively wearing this handbag ever since. I think there was like two days when I switched it to Hermes Picotin handbag, but other than that, I just could not put it down. Just to put it out there, it's my very first tote, and I don't know where I have been my entire life because it is so practical, especially being mom. It just carries everything that I need and some more. Saying that I'm petted five foot one, which makes me like 150. 354 centimeters short. This handbag is the perfect size for me. I'm gonna definitely put some cutouts showing you how it suits to my body frame. This is PM1 and to my knowledge there exists as well GM. As I said, these handbags are very customizable. You have different colors of canvases and mostly the leather lining matches with it, but there is one which has this sort of classical canvas color type of leather versus the black print of the canvas, if that's the look that you are opting for. It also comes with this little pouch, very typical for Goyard. Interesting thing is though that this little pouch doesn't have leather lining but canvas lining instead. A lot of people use it as a mini wallet or to keep their important things a little bit more safe. It is attached on the D-ring which you can very quickly remove if you want to just 
take this little pouch to the ladies room or anything else. The handbag doesn't have any feet and it surprisingly is still very light despite the fact that it's leather lined. It has the little stamp saying Goyard Paris made in France here on the top and basically that's it. One of the reasons why I decided for going to Paris was because I wanted to purchase this handbag. So it was either Paris or Milan. Goya doesn't have any boutiques in Germany anywhere. It would have been impossible for me to get my hands on other than if I would go the second hand route. Now, main reason why I went with this handbag is that it is so damn versatile. First, the color is sort of all rounder, in my opinion. You can wear this with any kind of coat in winter. That's the only reason I did not go with all the fun colors that are out there. As a first thought, I wanted it to be wearable in rain and wind that we get a lot in Hamburg. The super cool part that sold me on this handbag also is that you can turn the handbag from inside out if you don't want to have this canvas print and you have a plain leather handbag in a gray color. You can flip the handbag from inside out with the San Louis as well but then you have canvas that is more prone for getting stains and I could imagine that you cannot really wear that one that long after a few years. Um, you know. Also, I wanted a handbag that would accommodate a laptop for me. I'm supposed to start working in October. Keeping fingers crossed that everything works fine with uh, getting used to process of the Kita for my daughter. And I know that this handbag would be big enough to do that for me. Also, having a toddler, I did not want another handbag that has zipper on the top that creates an extra step for me to open it up when I need to go quickly in and out of the handbag. Bearing in mind the shape and the looks of it, it is very similar to the Louis Vuitton never full handbag. I'm gonna be very honest to you about it. I think it is a beautiful handbag but I wanted that little bit of exclusivity having a tote handbag and I think even though it's such a famous handbag it is not something that you see every single day out there on the street. For those people who know they know but for all the others it's just um, another tote few hours, change the light conditions most likely, a wake toddler who didn't eat the meal that I cooked for her, and the new lipstick. Later, we are back at it, with the most fun part, that means what's in my bag. This is the most unfiltered version of it. This is what I've been carrying around since last two days. So the very first thing that I have in here is the little cute sweater of Leia that she wore today in the morning. I undressed it when we were waiting at the doctors to get eye drops for her. How adorable is this little neckline situation, you guys? I just love it. It's from Zara Kids. I also have a spare of some muslin cloth because her nose is running and you never know when you need one. Snacks, some party pop with banana taste. Don't even get me started. She doesn't like banana. How weird is that? I also have her water bottle by Leewood with all the animals around. Very cute. We have a few of the water bottles and currently she's having another one with her. And the last thing that I have of her in my handbag is this figure because we were in the farm on Saturday. She saw all the farm animals in live and she's been obsessed with cows at the moment. Then I have a book that I started like, I don't know, a few months ago. And to be frank, I have not finished it, not because I don't love it, I actually love it. That's where I am at. But I don't really get time for reading books books. I mostly listen to the audiobooks. And the last thing that I listened was It Ends With Us, by the way. I talked about it in my last vlog. Check it out. I also have some random ticket. It tells you how long I've been using this handbag. From 10th of September, probably when I got my nails done. Love it. I also have some snacks for me. The second one is probably good for me. I found time to throw away the packaging for the second one, apparently. Um, I often get these Pamela Reif cake bars because they fill me up and when I don't manage to eat and have to just run out of the door, this just saves the day. I have my sunglasses that have finally prescription glasses so that when I'm outside, you most likely see me with this ones. I don't wear any other sunglasses of mine anymore. Now I'm thinking to get one or two pairs more of classic sunglasses and get them equipped with the prescription glasses. You know, it's just a game changer when you're outside. Then I have my coin purse. Look at this beautiful pistachio green color. I love it so much. I think this was the very first item that I ever got at my local boutique. And yeah, 
because of that it just carries such sweet memories. I have a card holder, the YSL one, that is not in the best shape. I also have the Celine pouch, which technically is a toy for Leia as well, because anytime we have to wait somewhere or we are in the car, she loves to grab out all those cards and just throw them around. So that I have an additional task to do to collect them and put them back in. But it stretches the time, it does wonders. Last few bits are the lip products really. This YSL Rouge Valoup Shine in color 150, pinky, nude. I love this one, it just looks so, so pretty. I have not worn this one in a while. I also always have this uh, Buxom lip liner because I've been obsessed with overlined lips and some kind of lip gloss on top of it. Buxom lip gloss, it's this full-on plumping lip polish in the color Ryan. For the days when I have like sort of coral blush, I go with this Gizu lip oil that is in color, to be frank, I don't even know, peach probably, passion punch. And the new favorite that I am wearing just now, it's from Pat McGrath Labs Peach Perversion. Ah, love my lipsticks. I would be curious how many lip products are you carrying in your handbag? Just pausing here and write to me. Am I the only one crazy carrying five, six lip products? The next thing is the SPF 50 by Shiseido. This one is, you know, on the roller. I love this one. It smells so good, like sort of clean. Leia played with it, so on the top you can see her fingers. But this one is just brilliant. Doesn't leave any white cast. I roll this over my makeup even and it just gives a little bit like wetness sort of sheen type of uh, finish but it has very high protection and I just love it. Picking out the very last bits which are hair clips for Leia. My sister-in-law sent it so I love them especially because of that. I'm not into this very girly hair clips. I think it's that's just the sentimental value that it comes from my family what makes it special for me. Gums, that is that. The handbag is empty, that's how it looks. I also ordered a handbag organizer so that all of these items are not flying around in the handbag, but it has not arrived yet. In case it arrives before I upload this video on my channel, I'm gonna include a little snippet of it for you to see how it all looks. But other than that, I just cannot say good enough about this handbag. It's just everything that I needed in my life and more. It is a handbag that you can throw around. As told, it has seen the bottom of my stroller. I'm usually not the kind of person who puts the handbags on the ground, but when being out with a toddler, you just cannot swear what you're gonna be doing exactly, you know, guarantee what you're gonna be doing exactly. So there has been multiple of times where I had to put it on the ground, no scratches, no stains whatsoever. It looks very durable, very resistant. I know a lot of people had problems with uh, you know, lining here around, but nothing to be seen. Uh, glazing looks perfect. It's just fabulous. Iconic, not in your face, still ultimate classic. Beautiful color, all rounder for all the seasons. Perfect in terms of sizing for a petite girl like I am. I just, I just don't have any negatives for it. Let me know what you think about this handbag. If you have anything from Goyard, what's your experience so far? Is there something on your wish list that you would want to purchase as of next? I would love to hear all of it. Thank you guys once again for all your time, for your patience with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to check rest out of the content on my channel and I'm gonna be seeing you on my next one next Friday.